but on our way to El Cap, I believe the plan is we're going to go to El Cap, have a drink, and then go to Capone's and get pizza, uh, which will be the only uh, non-Mexican meal that we'll have had on this trip. Well, I guess I did have uh, bacon, eggs, uh, and uh, home fries and sausage this morning. I don't know if that's Mexican or not. I mean, I think I think that's every country of the world. If you have access to to pigs and uh, and have access to eggs. That's pretty much a staple food, and I did eat it uh, inside of a flour tortilla uh, because they don't they don't give you toast here. They give you a tortilla instead. Last time I went to this restaurant, I was chased by a stray dog for about a mile. He was really into it, like he was going to get me. But way up on the hill on El Capitan. Hey, your lights are on. Okay. Your lights. They're on. Okay, they're off. <laughs> I'm always prepared because I fucked a Boy Scout. And there, it's it's wrong in all the worst ways. Oh, waving it. Oh, it's bad. Oh. Yeah. See the views, top notch. Oh, yeah. oh, the city lights over Rocky Point, Puerto Penasco, beautiful Mexico. I fucking love this country. I really, really do. Big thanks to Maggie who just bought our two buckets of beer. Come on, fucker. See, now I'm just going to have to fucking pass you. I can pull on in there, trike. So, look at this shit here. A couple of fucking Scottsdale f fucking park right in front of everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and fucking ram their bike over and fucking over again. Boy, that was some fucking bullshit. Yeah, yes it was. That's just like I don't want to even talk to these guys because they already know what the fuck they did. No, Jason's a way nicer the guy than I am because I to, well I went to three different tables. Leaving Lucky's on the last day. Chris has a shit truck draped over his bike. Shit hose. <laughs> Everybody loves Chris's bike. That old 1980K model Honda. And it is a rad bike. I've ridden it. That's a fucking awesome bike. Runs great. There's a story behind it, and we'll tell it here soon. But real soon, we'll be 
leaving Mexico. That's about a four hour drive to home, four or five. Of course, we still have a little more fucking around to do before, uh, before we can leave. We gotta go and stash Taps bike at this dude's house. Other than that, I think after that we can uh, we can pretty much jam. But I didn't really go that hard this weekend. I uh, I drank quite a bit, but I really I didn't drink any more than I normally do at home. Actually, probably less. Um, did mushrooms a couple of times, but mushrooms don't hurt you. It's like the safest drug on the planet and no hangover or anything. This street should be pretty fucking gnarly. Hopefully, I'd like to get through this trip without crashing. So that's the end of our Mexican motorcycle adventure. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Also, if you would like to read about previous uh, motorcycle, uh, Mexican motorcycle adventures, uh, please go on Amazon and buy my first book, The Mexican Ejection Seat, which covers basically all the same type of shit, except that we partied a lot harder than we did in, uh, on this trip. Thanks to everyone who was involved. Um, Chris, Jason, Eric, and Maggie. Uh, who made this a, a, an incredibly fun trip. Tap, as you know, if you watched the previous videos, is fine. His motorcycle has made it back to Phoenix. He's out of the hospital and on the mend. And uh, thanks to everyone who watched and followed along. I, uh, I, I'll, hopefully I'll have a, a new video next week that will not be about riding motorcycles in Mexico. Uh, so thanks everybody. Uh, have a great week.